What's going on? It's Suk and I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be showcasing some of these still images and video footage that I've captured from both the brand new Google Pixel 9 and the Pixel 9 Pro XL. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, so if you are new around here, then I must ask you to hit that subscribe button, clicking the bell to be notified when I upload any up and coming videos. But without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So before I get into showing you some of these two images and video footage which I captured on both of these smartphones, I do want to get into talking about the pricing and the camera specs on these smartphones. So the Pixel 9 Pro starts off at £999 here in the UK and for that you will get basically a triple 50 megapixel rear camera system. And when it comes to the Pixel 9, the Pixel 9 starts off at £799 here in the UK. And for that, you basically get the same camera system as the 9 Pro models, minus the telephoto camera. So you get the same 50 megapixel wide and ultra wide cameras. And where you'll find things are different is on the front, with the front camera of the Pixel 9 having a megapixel count of 10.5 megapixels, with it also having a field of view of 95 degrees. Whereas the 9 Pro models offer a 42 megapixel front camera which have a much wider field of view of 103 degrees. You'll also find that the Pixel 9 Pro is capable of recording 8K video footage up to 30 frames per second, whereas the Pixel 9 is limited to recording 4K video up to 60 frames per second. When you get to seeing some of the low light selfies with the front flash turned on, try and pay attention to the differences in the brightness of the flash, as the Pixel 9 Pro has the brighter screen going up to 3000 nits, whereas the Pixel 9's display is only able to peak up to 2700 nits, so there's almost a 10% difference in the screen brightness. So let me know how apparent that is. But hey, that's enough talking about that, let's take a look at what these devices were able to capture.
So the video footage you are now watching is being captured on the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. This is 4K video footage being captured at 30 frames per second. Of course, you should get a good feel for how this smartphone is. You're picking up my voice, how, how, how good it is cancelling out any of the background noise. It's quite windy out here today. Um, overall, you should get a good feel for how stable the image is sharpness, colours, saturation, all of that, you should get a good feel. My lips do look a little bit more red than what I'm used to seeing on any any screen, but yeah. Overall, what are your thoughts on how this smartphone's performing? It does seem like the front camera is doing a good job of, you know, exposing the background, along with keeping me in focus, and, you know, the, the HDR aspects of this smartphone's front camera seem to be much better than what I've seen with other devices even the iphone 15 pro max but yeah what are your thoughts so far i mean it does look like it's doing a fairly decent job but hey let me know down below in the comment section so what you are now watching is a 4k video footage being recorded at 30 frames per second on the front camera of the brand new google pixel 9. what are your thoughts on how this smartphone's front camera is performing to my eyes, from what I can see on screen, it does look like it's a lot shakier than what I've seen with some smartphones. Uh, but it's doing a good job exposing for the sky behind me. How is it picking up my voice and cancelling any of the background noise behind me? Let me know down below in the comment section. Of course, if I turn around, we can see that it is doing a fairly good job of keeping the detail behind me in but my face has gotten significantly darker which is what you would kind of expect for being backlit um, but overall what are your thoughts on how this smartphone is performing let me know down below in the comment section Can you hear that? Not sure. But what you are currently watching and listening to is being recorded on the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. So you should get a good feel for how this 4K video footage that's being recorded at 30 frames per second is doing when it comes to stabilization, how it's lighting up my face, handling background noises, my voice, along with stabilization, and of course, other items like saturation, sharpness, exposure, yada, yada, yada. But at the end of the day, what are your thoughts on how this smartphone's front camera is performing? From what I can see, it's performing very well. Honestly, it's probably up there in terms of what I've seen from most smartphones, but yeah. What are your thoughts on how the Pixel 9 Pro XL's camera on the front is performing? Let me know down below in the comment section. So what you are watching is currently being recorded on the brand new Google Pixel 9. Now this is 4K video footage that is being captured at 30 frames per second. So you should get a good feel for how this video stabilization is looking, how it is exposing for my skin, my face, correcting for the background, how sharp everything looks, the noise reduction. All of that good stuff. Now I have also got the speech enhancement feature turned on. So you should be able to hear my voice a little clearly compared to some of the background noise that we have got currently around. But overall, what are your thoughts on how this footage is looking? 
from what I can see, it looks fairly decent, but hey, maybe you see something different. So let me know down below in the comment section. So the video footage you are now watching has been captured using the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. This is 4K video footage that is being captured at 30 frames per second. You should get a good feel for how this HDR video is being processed. Of course, you should also get a good feel for how it is exposing for the background, along with how it is picking up my voice. I have got the noise, uh, the speech enhancement feature turned off at this current moment. Um, so yeah, overall, how is it picking up my voice? Is it picking up a lot of background noise? Of course, you can let me know down below in the comment section. So the video footage you are now watching has been captured using the brand new Google Pixel 9. You should get a good feel for how this 4K video footage that's been captured at 30 frames per second is performing. Of course, you should get a good idea for the saturation, noise levels, con uh, exposure controls behind me, white balance and all of the other good stuff. I have got the speech enhancement feature currently turned off so you should get a good feel for how this smartphone is picking up my voice along with cancelling out any background noise. Now it's not exactly noisy at this current moment so it should be doing a very very well job. But overall what are your thoughts on how this smartphone's camera is performing? Let me know down below in the comment section. So I mean as you'd probably expect both of these devices were very very similar there were some instances where I was quite surprised to see that the Pixel 9 was slightly better especially those low light situations I found that the Pixel 9 was able to retain more detail and that's even with those night sight photos being taken for some reason the Pixel 9 was a little better than the 9 Pro XL in this area Sure, the 9 Pro is able to record 8K video footage, whereas the 9 is capable of only recording 4K video footage, but as you probably guessed, you're not really missing out on much in this area. So where things are slightly different is basically where things are different, that front camera. The front camera on the Pixel 9 Pro is much better than that found on the Pixel 9. That 42 megapixel front camera compared to the 10.5 on the Pixel 9 is very good and let's be real it's night and day especially with that wider field of view in fact the cropped view of the pixel 9 pro's front camera is essentially the non-cropped look of the pixel 9 yeah it's genuinely that good both of these smartphones do a very good job when it comes to retaining details and the hdr performance of these smartphones really is something quite impressive I mean, I put the Pixel 9 Pro XL head to head with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the HDR on the Pixel was much better than what I saw with the iPhone. And if you wanna check that video out, then be sure to click the card in the top right corner or go ahead and click the links down below in this video's description. I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos, so be sure to subscribe, smacking that bell to be notified when those videos get uploaded. But once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care and have a good one.